The other thing that you see when you start Rome is the sidebar here. Now the sidebar contains three things in the beginning, which are daily notes, the graph overview, and then all the pages. And then underneath it, you can see the shortcuts. So if I click on the daily notes first, it's not going to move because I'm on a daily notes itself. But if I go to a different page, for example, if I click on the block and I go into the Rome research class block, if I click the daily notes, it will move me back to the page where I was. The second thing is the graph overview. This shows the connection between all the pages. Now, because I haven't created any connections, it's just showing me the three pages that I have on my database, March 6th, 7th and 8th. If I click one of them, it will take me to that specific page. Finally, the third thing on this sidebar is all pages. And if I click that again, I can see all the pages. And in here, you can see the word count dimensions, when it was last updated and when it was created. So when it comes to the daily pages, the created date will always be the title of that page. And then finally, you have shortcuts, which we don't have any. So if I click on it, nothing happens at the moment. Another thing that you can do with this sidebar is hide it. And you can do this by just clicking the three lines here. Clicking it again will show the sidebar once again. And when you do this, the entire page covers the screen. I like to do this when I'm doing some sort of focus work where I don't really need the sidebar. I just need to look at what I'm writing. But if I need to connect to other pages or if I need something from the sidebar, I'll just simply open it again. So now let's try to favorite a page. I'm now here on my daily notes, but if I click on this date, it will actually open the page for March 8th. Now you may wonder, how is this different from the previous page? The previous page shows you all the notes that you have. And now I'm just navigating to the March 8th page. And you'll see at the top here, it will change the icons. So let's go back. You see just a calendar. And now I see three icons. The first is to filter. The second is to open a graph in the sidebar. And the third is to add page to shortcuts. So if I click the star here, it's going to add March 8th as a page on the shortcuts. And now if I click on it, I can navigate to it very quickly. So let's go into daily notes. And I'm now going on March 7th. If I click on the shortcuts on the side, March 8th, it will take me to that page. Now, most of the times you won't need to favorite daily notes. The shortcuts are reserved for the pages that you're going to click the most, the ones that you're going to need multiple times per day and per week. To remove that page from the shortcuts, all you need to do is click the star again, and you'll notice that it was removed from the shortcuts. As for the top bar, you also see this question mark. If you click it, it will show you help, key commands and documentation. So if you want to search something inside Rome, you can do so here. For example, the one that we saw before to indent block, you just simply do tap. If you want to unindent it, shift tap. It also shows all the formatting, the navigating, the blocks, and what you can do with the sidebar and the appearance. So for example, one of the commands that you can use to toggle the left sidebar visibility is command backslash. So let's try that one now. So if I use that command right now, hitting command backslash, it will hide the sidebar. Click it again and it will bring it up. So it's helpful to learn a couple of these commands. Obviously, there are a lot of them. And I just know a couple, the ones that I use the most and the ones that really help me in my Zettelkasten. So spend a few minutes in Rome help learning the most useful keyboard shortcuts for you, because over time, you're going to save a lot of clicks by just learning the right commands. Now, there's the third sidebar that Rome has that you don't see initially, and that is the right side sidebar. This sidebar helps you open other pages while staying in the page that you add. So, for example, by clicking shift and this page, it will open it on the sidebar. So let's say you're creating an article here on the main page. And as you're writing, you want all your research to also show. So it's very helpful that you can open all those pages on the right sidebar and you can open many pages at once. So if, for example, if I go to March 7 and I also open it on the sidebar, now I have two pages on the sidebar and March 6, three pages on the sidebar. So if there was something here on March the 6th, for example, a mention to Rome Research, Rome Research class, and I just write planning the first three lessons. So now I have something on my sidebar as, as you see, as I wrote here on the main window, it's showing on the outline on the right sidebar. And now I can go back to March 8th and see that on March 6th, I planned the first three lessons. And if you want to close, you can simply click the X button there and we'll close it. And if you want to move the pages on the side here, you can also do that by just dragging at the outline off and I can move March 8th to the top, or maybe I want to move March 6th to the top here. You can reorganize the tabs by simply dragging them. 
If you want to close a specific tab, you can do so by clicking the X. And if you want to close the entire sidebar, the same process that you use to close the left sidebar. You just click the three dots at the top and the bar is gone.